Welcome. I love the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie. Still holds up to this day, in my opinion. Let's get it open. This box, as you know, is not one of the boxes I wrapped. Hence the issue of... And it still pisses me off. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Like, you can just put your hand in here. You just take whatever you want out. I mean... Oh, man. So, let's hope nothing got damaged. I mean, it's all binders, so who knows? It could be fantastic. It could be fantastic. We have a sealed... Fantastic binder from the year 2000. That's really cool. That's sealed. That's kind of crazy, actually. I like that Mario staring at you. That should be a good wall portrait photo in the bathroom. Just staring at you, judging you as you. Anyways. Wave Bird with the GameCube. Wave Bird. I did not know that was the original name for. Wow, that actually is not. No, they, whoa. I mean, this is how much I know video games. So I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I didn't know about that controller style. Game disc insert. Do, 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 do. So this is at the uh, Japanese convention. Wow. Wow. Love it. And then we have, uh, wow, I didn't know you could do that actually. Shows how much I know. That's so sweet. Okay. Cool. I mean, again, the problem is they're photocopies. People want like the actual production made internal stuff. This is internal, but I mean, you can just print this puppy off. So that's kind of questionable, the value on those items, but it still has value. Well, the anti-piracy program. I love the uh, images that they put on these things because that just covers it pretty quickly right there. The battle between Wario Counterfeit Game Boy Advance. Doom, doom, doom. That's really neat. I can't wait to go through that later. The NMI Safety and Health Handbook. Eat right. Jump up and down every five minutes. Enjoy life. General safety health issues. Ergonomics and lifting procedures. Hazardous chemical handling storage. I like how ladder safety has its own whole thing. <laughs> This is just crazy stuff. I mean, it's Nintendo oriented, but it's also like a little about the bounds of the normal video game booklets you get. This is just fun stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't, ex good. I have never been to this book. Sorry. I haven't been to this bind. I haven't been to this box. I don't know what's in here. I have zero idea. I'm hoping for vintage early stuff and. Let's just hope it's not trashed. Look at that. Oh no, it is trashed. So sometimes things get water damaged and I think the earliest stuff got damaged. Yep, totally water damaged. 1988 binder. Man. Oh, Nintendo Fun Club was in it. We got killed. Anything else? Oh, man. Why couldn't you just take in like an N64? I mean, the binder's still here. That's still worth something. I like the binder, but damn, that sucks. Giant floppy donkey. Anyways, damn. Okay, people, that hurt. Because this could have been a couple K easily or more. The binder itself has value. As I said, a decent amount of value because it's not technically damaged. But you just, I'm happy and blessed for everything I pulled out of these boxes so far. But that was one of the most coolest things. And you saw how excited I was. And just, damn it. Okay, let's move on before I just get stuck on that. What the hell is this? What is it? Oh, it's a clock. Is this the N64 clock? Probably. Prefer it not to be. I mean, I like my N64, but I just prefer earlier stuff. Nope, it is. That's fine. These are out there. I don't think they're really out there in the box, but again, the box isn't anything to call home about. So we're talking probably about 250, 300. They're out there. They're definitely out there. But it's a good size. I didn't expect that. 
Banjo Kazooie. So this is popular. Oh, oh, there's a display underneath this. King Q, a little suction cup display. Super Smash Brothers. This is probably worth about 100, 150, maybe a little bit more. It's, it's hard to gauge the smaller displays. Nobody has them, I know that. But then they're like, oh, it's smaller. So I don't want to pay you like compared to like a thicker poster board display or a standee. Hmm. Very nice. A little bit thin. Off camera look. I can't reveal the names. I'm sorry about that. So this is just displays being discussed. That's pretty cool. All just internal memo, not internal memos. These are all internal pictures of displays. It's all the displays that they were going to make or all the ones they did make. So this would probably just be an internal binder for Nintendo of all Banjo-Kazooie displays. And they would probably keep this as their own reference material. But of course, it's now in my hands. So, oh, this is, what the hell is in here? This is heavy as snot. We'll go through this towards the end. We got a Christmas card. We have a Pokemon store. Oh, this one was this one we've seen before. Oh, we have not seen this one before. I got to check to see if it's made out to anybody. Okay, so this is this is awesome. I'm not. I buy. I pulled out a lot of Christmas cards out so far, but I've never seen a Pokemon one. Oh, look at that. Donkey Kong, Meowth. I can't show you the last page because there's employee names. This actually was written out to an employee. So this came out in 1999, of course. That is a keeper. We have some more uh, photos from Toys R Us. Save for baby. I will save this for the baby. Oh, I love those slats. This literally looks like my personal Toys R Us down the street, which doesn't exist anymore. So I actually had to do like a little pause there and be like, what? Where's like a notation of what Toys R Us this was? But yeah, these are just internal photos. Lots of internal photos. What else we got? Power of the Choice. Oh, brochure. Love it. Love it. Lyle, love it. Game Boy, NES, they love this stuff. The Nintendo Promise. So these brochures, I, I just, I don't know where they were handed out. That's the problem. I don't know how many are out there, but I mean, very nice. Oh, I love that 80s palm hair. Childhood memories. We have another Christmas card. And uh, this Christmas card, I cannot show you because it is filled out. We have, uh, ooh, look at that. What was that? Oh, it got stuck to the uh, Mario's. Where's the Mario? Okay, sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So these are Episode 1 Star Wars Windows Cling displays. These took the Mario ink off the Mario's down there. That doesn't really detract from the value of this. But still, very cool. These are about, I'd say there's three of them. Yep, three of them. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. So what is this? This is, so again, Displays are worth money. Internal paperwork photocopies has some value. It's really intriguing stuff. And the most exciting for me is like the personal stuff that they made literally just for the employees to hand out like the Christmas cards. So this looks like it's one of those pieces. I have no idea what I'm staring at. Wow. That went from 10 to zero pretty quickly. The Nintendo coloring book. Have you guys seen this before? I mean, this probably is just a handout then. I thought this was going to be an internal thing. But, oh, repair centers. That probably is internal. If you have a Mario that does that, this is probably internal. We have a few of them. Check that out. Look at that. Don't tell anybody I have this many of them. Of course, by the time I, by the time I post this video, these will all be sold out. That's why I'm not going to post these ASAP. There's more stuff. Oh, we got, oh, okay. Yes, more displays, more displays. Like, I like the photos. Oh, what is this? What is this? Whoa. Mario Advance. I mean, these are obviously not internal, but these are really cool. I don't know how many of these are. Wow. I can scratch them, but that's really sweet. These are cool. These are for the collection, obviously. Got some more internal photos. Probably a C3. Look at that. 
Old Donkey Kong Country display. That's sweet. But photos are great. I just want more displays. Up four window displays. We have the Magic Grip Jar Opener. Works like magic. Because this, this must be a lost cover for a Nintendo game that we don't know about. But yeah, actually it is Nintendo. It's a promo item. Look at that. It's like a sham wow thing almost. I've never seen that before. What's this? And all the little dents they got from just the poor packaging. Nintendo Link. Win. Win. Whenever I see win, I think of Linka from Captain Planet saying win. That's interesting. This is... Oh. If this is Pokemon, I'm going to be really excited. So these are like a gel advertisement. There's an adhesive sticker on the back. And there's a Mario Kart. There's just the Nintendo GameCube logo. I've seen Pokemon Ruby on Sapphire. And I'm hoping it's a Pokemon one. If it's not, I can sell the Mario Kart one, make some killer money, hopefully, on it. <sighs> Why should it be, like, the worst game, like a sports game? Ah, it's Mario Kart. Look at that. I can get that off. That's pretty easy to get off. That's awesome. You can see, like, it's a little bit gel. And I think there's just a countertop. When you check out, this would be on top. You can put your... In Japan, they have little uh, trays or like a mat like this that you put your money down. I kind of imagine this display advertisement would be adhered to the glass case. You do the checkout and you do the same thing on top of this. Or it could just be placed anywhere in general. I've seen some discussion about these, some of the paperwork I have, but nothing was like specific where it was supposed to be displayed. That's great. What we got here? We have the Game Boy, sorry, we have the Nintendo GameCube wheel with Sonic and Mario and 007. That's really cool. So, I mean, this display, I mean, probably at least 100, 150. Probably going to push more because, again, I don't know and I'm not going to get this stuff ever again. That's the whole thing. Like, just these things just don't show up. Paperwork. I'll take, oh, wait, we got a few more. No, we got... Game Boy and Game Boy from the uh, brochures. Those might be like 50 bucks each. More photos. Full service. This is from E3. Check that out. Should do an entire video. Wish his uh, photography skills were better. Super sweet. We'll do a whole photo video for uh, YouTube at some point of all the photos I've been getting. Nintendo of America, Germany. Look at that display. Those might be prototype boxes on there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Paperwork time. We have Metroid Official and Metroid Fusion. You know what? It's not any money here, but I'm still happy to have anything Metroid oriented. In pretty nice shape, too. Probably about 10 to 15 bucks each. That's sweet. I'll take it. Don't worry, the white box is still back there. Zelda, clean shape, Nintendo Power. That might be like 30, 50 bucks. I, don't, I have no idea personally, but fantastic shape. <clears throat> we have, ooh, product catalogs. A um, little brochure, because that has much more depth discussion of the N64 games coming out. And again, to E3. So these are only handed out at E3. That was great. That, like, boost up the cost, boost up the value of this box substantially. Here's a, a communication for merchandising department. I will not unveil this because I can't show off, obviously, any names or information for those people. Privacy. What's this? Oh. Star Fox Adventures. What? What is this? I love the dinosaurs. Reminds me of Dinotopia. Oh my God, it arrived in 2002. I cannot wait. That's really cool. That is a really in-depth advertising right there. I wonder where this was given out. Rareware, they did a lot of good stuff. For N64, I think they worked on Perfect Dark too. That's the way I like it. Yes, more, more, more paperwork like this. Fantastic. I mean, 
<laughs> one guy already knew it. I was trying to sell another one of these recently, and he was like, these are the most common of the merchandising catalogs. And I was like, he is absolutely right. But I still get around 150 for these. Pretty cool. Nintendo Electronic Planogramming. So this is for dis displays, planograms. Minimum requirements. Internal paperwork like that. So, oh, I got a Pokemon. Oh, I think it's just uh, sticker sheets. Oh, it got me all excited for a quick moment. Just sticker sheets. I mean, probably a couple bucks each. Merchandising top 10 accounts. That's probably like the Kmart and Secret Circuit City. I still can't believe the Nintendo. I still can't. I just I forgot about it until this moment. Oh. Nintendo electronic planogramming. File copy. Make sure this does not leave Nintendo headquarters, people. Sure got a lot of these stickers. I think these might have been handed out at a uh, convention. And that's why there's just a number of these. Literally a number of these. Stop it. Stop it. No, literally. Stop it. You can't stop once you pop. Man. Oh, we got a mouse pad. That's pretty cool. Nice Nintendo Mario mouse pad. Oh, yeah, just put the, these sheets freely on the bottom, clearly. Sweet. Internal paperwork. And we are coming to the conclusion of this box with just more photos. Overall, very happy. That worked out financially as well. A lot of fun stuff. But the sadness was, man, what do you do, right? I hope there's another one. We have a lot of more boxes to go through. It's possible there's one more of these in there. But geez, of all the binders, that was the only one that was water damaged, right?